everybody from in that wheel. Do I really want to do this when I'm now at my age? And I almost didn't. And Dr. Bernie Luskin uh, happened to chew someone out who criticized uh, his mentor, B. Lamar Johnson, mm -hmm. at UCLA, who wrote Islands of Innovation, because he says, because the person was just ideas, they'd never been there. Folks, you need to continue to tell the story, and that decision cemented my, I can do that, I want to do that. I want to have been there and have that experience and pass it on, and you need to continue to tell the story. My point on this presentation, I think we're losing our way because if we don't know our history, we are doomed to repeat it. I'm not sure who to attribute that quote to. Those of you who are studying can pass it along to me. So I happen to see about that time influential my talk today, and let me see if I'm getting this right. I'm going to give you a brief thing by decade, and Dr. Velo did some of this also, but very quick executive summary. Your perspective on the vision of community colleges depends on your state. I know you have students who are from California, the Northeast, or you know, globally. That it, your perspective on mission varies by state, varies by organization, varies by that community need. What are some of those key perspectives? And folks, there's a lot of conflicting values. We don't all agree, right? <laughs> Particularly in the climate we're in right now. And at the same time, it was instrumental in my establishing the Bellwether Awards and Futures Assembly that we don't do a very good job of celebrating who's doing the outstanding work and let's not reinvent the wheel, let's replicate what's working. And so with that, I'm also gonna share with you, probably scare the hell out of some of you, and at the same time, uh, hopefully embrace and enthusiastic because um, carrying on the passion for the important work you're doing. And so with that, I'm gonna go back to George Box. Um, George, we have to be, Ed Velo and I were on the board of AACC at the same time. Um, and we happened to, this was George's definition of a community college. And I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you some of those changes. We've always been known as responsive, adaptive institutions. Um, a clear focus on student learning, resourceful, entrepreneurial, creative, but that's not always been the mission, as I know those of you who are studying in your program. I'll give you a visual of this. We started out, and this is from George Bach's presentation. This is 2010 data, so I'm showing you David's slide, just so you're aware. But in 2010, and in fact, Ed and I were on, we were on the board when Joliet, we were celebrating our 100th anniversary. So community colleges were in rapid expansion of growth. Now there were different things happening during that period. Ed Glazer, the identity of community colleges then, by and large, as Ed talked about, Dr. Below, um, related to, and in fact, it's in the minutes, I think, of the University of Chicago, the faculty senate. Uh, that one of the reasons that the Faculty Senate approved and Joliet was created, uh, and it goes something like this, professors love to teach advanced classes. They were happy to bequeath 
the freshman and sophomore classes to the junior college because they want to teach her upper, div upper division courses. So it was not based on the egalitarian mission that we're talking about and gathered here today, which is so important. Dale Parnell, um, in the 80s, Dale put together not only the focus on the neglected majority, uh, his emphasis on uh, tech prep uh, that was in the legislation that was created, uh, and the work and vision that he did regarding establishing that foundation for pipelines. David Pierce, there's an interesting, and I'm shortcutting this, you can track where community colleges, Dale Parnell tried to get workforce developed and put in the title and include technical colleges. He wasn't able to do it regarding the name change because these institutions went from private junior colleges to public institutions. And in part, you can track the money and the identity nationally. And so the identity changed from, during Dale's time, the American Association of Community Junior Colleges. He tried to get technical in there. The board wouldn't approve it. But he had control of the byline. So the American Association of Community Junior Colleges, serving the needs, serving the need, or advancing the needs of community uh, technical and junior colleges, and he got it in the moniker that went out <laughs> nationwide. He laid the groundwork ultimately for Dave Pierce. Um, and all of these folks were in their respective roles for about a decade. He laid the groundwork where the board ultimately then established and changed the name to the American Association of Community Colleges. Now, of course, since that time period, um, I happen to be, as we were talking, uh, George Boggs, Palomar, one of the early leaders of the uh, learning college movement, with Terry Bain, the other work you're doing. Our focus should not be on teaching, it should be on learning and that foundation. And of course, Dr. Douglas, in terms of the tenants and whatever his plans are for his tenure, but most, and the reason I put it in during this period, the real focus has shifted not only from access to student success. There has been that historical tension. If you can envision a seesaw between college and community, where do the resources go? What's the identity? What's the mission? And that's a historical tension that has been there.